Hey, hi, hello. I'm Michaela. I am an SEO strategist and a blog content writer. And today we are going to be walking through how to set up your Google Search Console for your Hostinger website. So this is pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but I did want to walk you through this just so we're not playing like a guessing game on how to get it done. And before we get started, please make sure that you are on the same page as me. Go to search.google.com and make sure you are seeing a similar setup. Anyways, the first step is simply going to be copying and pasting your domain into this little box right here. And we're not going to do a URL prefix, but we are going to do our domain. So for today, we're going to do Ashley Lynn Fitness, and you don't need this protocol at the beginning. You just need your domain. So it's going to copy it and paste it right there. Continue, checking verification. And this is when you're going to need this information. So we've copied that, and now we're going to go to our Hostinger website. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to go to our domain portfolio. And we are working with Ashley Lynn Fitness. So we're going to go to Manage, and we should see our DNS and name servers. So we're going to go here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the type is TXT. Go ahead and put at there. And the TXT value is that code we just copied from Google Search Console. Boop. And then leave this here. We got to change it. And you're just going to add record. DNS record created successfully. Now, finally, what we're going to do is we're going to return to Google Search Console. We're going to press verify. We're just going to wait. And so now our ownership is verified. And if it does say ownership verification failed, sometimes it just takes a minute to work. So just wait a few minutes and then try verifying it again. If it still does not work, double check that you have inserted it correctly into your DNS name servers and then retry in an hour or so just so it has some time. Do not panic. Sometimes it really does just take a moment. You may even need to try the next morning. It's a rare occasion, but it does happen. But you're good to go. So once you have this, it should look like this. Now do not be surprised if you do not have any data here. It is okay. It will take time for data to start being reported. But I hope this solved your issue that you were able to successfully set up your Google Search Console and connect it to your Hostinger website and if you would like to, or if you enjoy this and found this helpful, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Press the like button so that I can give you a few more tips in the future. That's it for today. 